Hi, I'm Christine from The Locker Planner and welcome to another great video. Today I want to speak about a topic which is called mom life and today I want to give you some tips because Ludwig, my son, is now 18 months old and we traveled since he's a baby in a few different countries and hotels. Today I want to give you some tips when you're booking a hotel to check a few tips which I give you on the hand to make your life easier. In the past, we went to Swiss, which was Zurich, Luzern, uh, Mallorca, Düsseldorf, Berchtesgaden, and Paris. All those visits were very great and I could make my experience what was good, what was, wasn't was that good, visiting a hotel or staying in a hotel with a toddler. You know, as a couple, before we had a baby, um, there weren't any problems. We enjoyed the hotel stay. We enjoyed going into the restaurant. You know, there was less stress. And now with a toddler, you have to look for some different kinds of topics or things, which are, I think, in my opinion, mandatory. So <laughs> let's hop right in. Tip number one is, is that hotel or is that hotel room baby safe? What do I mean with baby safe? <laughs> I'm speaking about if you're visiting, if you're having the ability to book a nicer hotel, uh, is there any decor which could easily break or are there sockets which are reachable for your toddler that he might get hurt? <laughs> I mean those things. You know in general you can you can ask a hotel if it's baby safe but in general most of the hotels which we visited weren't that baby safe so I just had a look before <laughs> Ludwig walk uh, in the hotel room I just tried to check everything if it's uh, everything out of his reach which he could easily break okay tip number two is does the hotel provide a baby bed yes or no most of the hotels provide of course baby beds <laughs> but I think on a website they just write it if they don't provide it or not and also you can just call them and ask them if they provide one why I'm speaking about a baby bed we have a travel baby bed but you know I think I love traveling lightweight and as less weight you have to carry you can more easily take care about your toddler because you know when you're traveling it's not the same environment like at home that you feel safe you know you get I get or I tend to easily uh, more stressed out when we're on the way on a travel you know that's why and, and if we have to carry a lot and Ludwig gets stressed or bored or whatever you know I feel stressed too and a stressed mommy and daddy isn't that way you know that's why I just ask the hotel if they can provide you a free baby bed of course you don't uh, get charged for it at least at the hotels where we stayed. Another small side tip is if your baby doesn't get to know, if your baby doesn't know uh, how to sleep with a pillow and a blanket, we also use for a very long time a sleep sack. But now Ludwig is in daycare and he already knows how to sleep uh, after lunch <laughs> with a blanket and a small little pillow. That's why we just also switched here up you can see his blanket and his pillow that he's using every night okay tip number three sterilizer or a water cooker <laughs> sterilizer is kind of hard i just only know that the hotel in paris which is disneyland they provide sterilizer <laughs> but uh, it's uh, they were out of it so never mind most of the hotels have a water cooker some of them and have a water cooker in their room but you can ask nicely at the front desk if they can bring you one into your room why well, I'm talking about a water cooker you know you don't know or at least I don't know when I visit a hotel in a different country I don't know how the water is I always check in the internet if it's drinkable or if we have to buy something but I love to wash Ludwig's bottles because he still uh, enjoys his milk and I'm not breastfeeding anymore 
and he still needs it or he, he still wants it and that's why I try to clean as very often like daily on a daily basis in the evening I clean all his bottles so I need some hot water and I don't want to bring those bottles into the kitchen and of the restaurant or whatever <laughs> that's why I just want to be I want to enjoy that freedom that I can wash the clothes uh, <laughs> that I can wash the bottles whenever I want Okay, speaking about drinking milk, tip number four is, is that water drinkable or do you have to buy some? <laughs> so make sure to check that website of that hotel or that city or that country which you're visiting. Is it drinkable or not? Because if it's not, <laughs> your baby will have a lot of tummy aching and this will be some rough nights and you won't have a nice stay. Which we also did is when we went to the buffet and uh, the stores were still closed in the morning. We just took two bottles <laughs> and just filled it up with drink water, with tap water, and then we can easily add whenever we, whenever Ludwig wants his milk, just his scoops of milk powder, and then he could easily enjoy his milk. Okay, tip number five: a trash can. Most of the hotels have very small trash bins, trash cans in the hotel room but if you're having a toddler and he's still wearing diapers you're producing a lot and I know that Ludwig <laughs> I have to change him very often I don't know like six to ten times a day it depends you know on how good he feels and what kind of he eats yeah so and if you're just think of like ten diapers in like two <laughs> or one trash can the trash can is very full and also you're producing waste so <laughs> what I what I always do I have a small plastic bag most of the times it's for dirty uh, dirty clothes which I just put in there you know that the fresh clothes and the luggage doesn't uh, get to touch each other <laughs> but uh, if I'm if I need a bigger trash can I just put it I use it or you can ask the hotel lobby or the front desk if they can provide you a bigger trash can or some plastic bags. Okay, tip number six, check the restaurant. We just only had once this special adventure. I don't want to call it problem. Most of the restaurants are quiet and you can go there and just uh, eat and enjoy your meal. And when we went to Düsseldorf, this was a very nice hotel and we traveled very late. We arrived very late and Lud what was almost <laughs> before dinner time for Ludwig and yeah, not far away from sleepy time, bringing him to bed. But I forgot or we hadn't had at that time a baby phone and I do not trust my mobile phone that I call my hubby from WhatsApp that we create our own mobile phone. I just wanted him to stay with us while we have dinner because I was very very hungry and the trip was very exhausting so we just decided okay let's go as a family and have a dinner and we ordered and of course it took a little bit more time the restaurant was kind of full Ludwig was tired and suddenly, you know, when the dinner appeared, um, I don't know what happened, but the restaurant turned into a disco. So the music got louder. It was like a loungy music. It's kind of nice, you know, but if you're having a toddler and your toddler is getting tired, he's getting grumpy, you know? <laughs> so it was um, a little bit hard because I was hungry. I wanted to enjoy the meal, but Ludwig did, did not fall asleep very fast, but after after a few minutes, he just fell asleep in his stroller. You know, there's another thing sometimes when we're going to a restaurant, most of the times I just leave him in his stroller. He can sit in a high chair, but his attention span is, isn't that long that he can sit there for an hour. You know, when I know this is a very full restaurant, um, I don't have that much toys with me <laughs> because most of the things are up in the room or whatever. I just leave him in the stroller and if he's getting tired I just lay him a little bit down that he can fall asleep and then mama and papa can enjoy their meal. But you know make sure to check those restaurants if this is turning into a disco which is kind of stressful. But I really really heard, hurried up to eat that we can just uh, go very fast into our room and uh, enjoy the night that Ludwig can sleep 
quiet in peace. Speaking about sleeping, tip number seven is curtains. Check the curtains. If you can just fully close or just shut everything down, that is, everything in your room is super dark. I don't know if your baby or your toddler sleeps by daylight, but Ludwig is very peaky and does not like it when it's too light. I know there are very awesome gadgets like like super dark tents which you can pull over the bed but we don't have that and some other tips where like uh, taking duct tape and a blanket and just put it just over the window which is a very cool hack but we were those times when we went to those hotels lucky that you can just close the curtains and everything is super dark. I would check the hotel and ask them if this is possible. Okay, tip number eight. Speaking about sleeping, I'm talking about a separate room. If it's from your budget possible, try to get a room which are rooms which are connected together that uh, you can put your toddler or your babies away in the other room <laughs> that you can sleep in peace and also that the babies can sleep in peace. Um, because I think when we're sharing a room together, I have a very light sleep, also my hubby, and when Ludwig is kind of crying or just a dreaming bad, uh, I get, get up really quickly, you know. So and everyone is having a rough night. That's why if it's possible, just try to get an extra room. If it's not possible, it might happen. Okay, tip number nine. Light travel. What do I mean with light travel? I enjoy light traveling, you know, this means I don't... I take the things which are very important, like clothes, a few of diapers, not all. When I'm staying like 10 days, I'm not taking diapers for 10 days. I'm just taking diapers for two to three days. And I'm checking, you know, this is my hack, which I want to give you. The area around the hotel, where is the next store? You know, in Germany, we have the DM store which is a drugstore where I can get diapers that I just uh, make pick up and delivery you know I just check the store which is not far away from the hotel then I just order some some pouches di diapers and whatever and maybe some mommy snacks for me <laughs> and then I just pick it up you know and then I just leave it in the hotel because uh, after this day I know I'm not bringing any any diapers with me <laughs> so this is a very good trick because i remember the first times when we traveled to my hubby's father we just bring everything and the car was super full and i think no no i don't want this traveling lightweight is less stressful you know because the hubster also has to carry a lot and yada 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 traveling lightweight is always a good choice and tip number 10 is a small tip. Check if the hotel has a pool and ask them if it's kid friendly. You know, if it isn't, we went to many hotels which have pools which were kid friendly. You always have to check, you know, because your toddler can easily fall in if you don't have um, secured him or the water is way too cold for him <laughs> or her. So yeah, there are many things, you know, as a couple before we just enjoyed the spa and we enjoyed going into some treatments but now with a toddler it's not possible you know just can go only into the pool and enjoy that time and relax and read some books and play with his toys um, yeah it's a little bit different than before but I do really enjoy it but make sure <laughs> To check the pool area and ask the front desk if it's kind of baby safe or what temperature the water has and yeah <laughs> so my friend I hope you enjoyed those tips booking a hotel with all those tips for a toddler or with a toddler my friend enjoy your day take care see you next time bye